you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Prison Architect version 2.0, the preview version. It's been a day since the last time I recorded, so I was able to go through and spend some time on the wiki reading up on all the features that have come out uh, since the last time I played. Seriously, there's been quite a few patches and lots of new features. And all right, let's get in an official complaint. Does anything here, when I'm mousing over any part of the yard, indicate that this has been claimed or captured by a gang. Absolutely nothing. When I go and try to build an object in this area and I can't, does it tell me I can't because it is claimed by a gang? Nope, absolutely not. There was absolutely zero information about why this can't be built here. Um, how do we find out? Is there is there an intuitive like error report on the screen? Nope, you have to go down to intelligence then hit the gang button, and then finally, you find out that things have been claimed. But until you go here, there's absolutely zero indication that that has happened. You're just like, no, you can't build here. And you're like, why? Why can't I build here? So it turns out gangs can claim certain rooms, and if they have claimed the room, you cannot build there, and either other people can't use it, or... Um, other gang members can't. I think no one actually can. So there's this gang view that we haven't really messed with here. And so I don't think these cells have, have actually been claimed. Now, they also say that there's an evict button. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so if I'm in gang mode and then I mouse over room, then I've got the ability to evict um, a gang from an area, at which point there will be a fight. It looks like what will happen is the gang members will turn hostile, there will be a fight with the guards, and the winning side, while well, assuming that the guards win, then they will. the gang members will officially be evicted from this area, and we'll have it back under our control and our neutral control, most importantly. So over here, it says there are zero soldiers here. So I'm thinking these guys aren't part of the gang, are they? Ah, oh, it's doing that... I don't want to click on the chair. I want to click on the person. There we go. I'm like just offset it a bit so I'm not on any of the uh, object hitboxes. God, it's gonna be. This is gonna be a day of complaining, you guys. Um, hello. I I said I want to open the rap sheet. Oh, for fuck's sake! Everything about today is just gonna be awful. I see how it is. God damn it. Yeah, nothing drives me more insane than. Um, a bad, bad user interface, which is what this whole gang thing is all about. So presumably, because these guys don't have any colored circles, they're not part of the gang, although I can't open their rap sheet, because why would I be able to do that? So I guess non-gang members can still use these rooms. Anyway, it looks like there are no gang members in this area whatsoever, although there are also no guards over here at this time. So I'm going to start by trying to evict people from the common room, although this is also the visitation area, so that's not going to necessarily look very good. I'm going to grab some of my armed guards, move them into here, and then when they arrive, I'm going to evict the gang from the common room. And assume that works out okay, then we'll do... Oh, of course we're gonna get another death. Then we'll do another run at the uh, the bigger area as well. Killed for being a snitch. Yeah, well, tough. You get, you, you're you a snitch? That happens sometimes. All right. Why do I still have this going on? Is it because I still have these guards selected? I guess it is. All right, so having claimed this, um, now I wonder if like, if you do it at night when they're all asleep, do you auto claim the room? Oh, you've got to hold it for 24 hours. That's right. I think that's part of it. I think you've got to hold it for a full 24 hours. So there's not really an opportunity to do things that easy. So again, I got to go here, then here, then here. And I guess it's going because it's blinking red. Oh, random Polaroid. Guards are going to go away. So we're not going to stay around here forever. We do have the, um, the camera. And presumably what will happen is... At some point, someone else will come in here, turn hostile, and then the guards will probably get auto-called in that direction. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should just go ahead and pop this one at the same time. What could possibly go wrong? Well, holding both might be difficult, but we'll see. So this, that, evict. So there's no eviction to go on over here. It just shows which rooms belong to which gang members. And I think, oh yeah, they charge people to use these areas. That's what part of that money is there for. They charge other people to use the area that they consider to be theirs. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're trying to evict people from here. No, again, zero feedback as to whether or not that's happening, how it's happening, what the progress is. 
I mean, all right, blinking lights. We got this thing that looks like it's a meter. I guess it's going down. It wasn't all the way up, unless that's the cap there. So something's definitely going down. It's quite a bit higher here. Maybe that represents how long they've had it versus the yard. No, they've had the, long, the yard for a really long time. All right, there's a bunch of... Okay, it's owned by Blue Team. So these are red team members, but there's blue team members there. So... I don't know if I just toggle it on and off of there. I mean, I'm assuming the blinking state may, means that it's happening. So there's no enemy people. There's no gang members whatsoever in here right now. So it'll be interesting to see if that starts to drop or not. Someone just got tased. Not really seeing the action. No enemy soldiers. All right. Oh, oh, there's something else going on in the background there. Just barely noticeable. God, I hate having to go through this menu. This white line here, is that a thing or is that a graphic glitch? Because there's one here too. But I'm betting that's just actually aligned with the grid in the background. This is the least intuitive tool I have ever seen. There we go. Here's a gang an example of a gang member in the area who's gone bonkers. So he's caused some trouble, he scared away some people that were here to visit, and he smashed some furniture. There we go, more gang members, blue gang members over here fighting. Where's, where's, where's my guards? Armed guards. So I gotta do that, then I'm once again out of the freaking goddamn gang mode. Doesn't last more than two seconds, alright, these guys have all been covered, so that's good. So there's still going to be some some skirmishing, but at least it's not all the gang members everywhere that snap. Although one of the gang members' leaders is being punished, so that's not going to help things. I wonder if we can just force people out of a gang at some point. So is this a gang member that's flipping out? That big circle certainly seems to be. Mm, no, just angry, I guess. So got little circles, big circles, or is this the gang leader for this gang? Oh, is that possible? <gasps> that's probably it. I was wondering about that. that was slightly large. That might be his personal room. So yeah, all the blues are going to get cranky because their blue leader is being punished. So they're grouping up. Yeah, we got to start like separating these out a little bit better. I don't like having them do their meeting over here. Where's my arm guards? Get over here. Do some suppression. Get in here. Although, we just, it might mean we just get piled on. What the hell is going on over here? We should get to set a hotkey for this mode, because it's pretty important. Yeah, they're all meeting with the leader. This There's no way that this is good. Oh, there you go. Gang business. They're all gang businessing. There's no way that this is good here. They're probably coming over here to retake one of these rooms or some damn thing. Yeah, there we go. Right underway. We're going to bang up, try to get as many people out of here as possible. And the big fight is happening here. But they've all been tased down pretty effectively. And yeah, that meter's almost gone. So that must be what that represents. And over here, it's definitely dropped a lot from where it was. So I'd say we've gone ahead and won the day. It doesn't look like we killed anyone there either, which is good. We may need some more infirmary space. There's a lot of injuries happening at a go. All right, I'm going to cancel the bang up. Let people out, especially the ones who are looking for a meal. Speaking of meal, I'm going to remember this area over here. Okay, people are roaming around outside now, which is completely understandable, except not at all what I want. So what I'm going to do is do that, followed by that, and that. There we go. Turn this back to be indoors. We'll get some power out there. Uh, I want a new, uh, a new utility room. I wonder if I should just build a whole one with a new power uh, water thing. But it, again, it looks like you don't need another water thing at all. So instead, we're going to build just a smaller utility room. I don't know. I guess off here is going to be fine. Something like that. And that. Then we'll have to build the wall up after, but that's going to be okay. 
and we'll want a bunch of capacitors. Oh, queued because of the floor, I guess. All right, that's fine. We'll let it finish that first. No problemo. In fact, what I should probably do is cancel. Are you kidding me? Going into object mode and right-clicking the object cancels the entire foundation as well? This undo... Listen, this is going to be a whole episode of, bit of bitching. So now I don't know where the object is, so I can't map this out the way that I want. Oh my god. Why did they decide to do that? You right-click one thing, it cancels everything. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to leave the utility in there. I thought, oh, it'll be nice. I'll leave the I'll leave it so that they don't have to, you know, work around an object in case it gets installed first because that would be really awkward. But no. There we go. Get back in there and I hope you can work it out because if I cancel this power station, right click the cancel. Is it going to cancel everything again? Okay, so if I'm in object mode and I right click, it cancels everything. If I'm not in object mode and I right click, it only cancels that one, which makes about zero sense. But whatever. Mm -hmm. so I just want to get the room done first. I don't think it'll be in the way, but just on the off chance that it is and causes some issues, we can just wait. Yeah, the UI for this game. They've added a bunch of systems, but didn't really improve the interface for a lot of the existing stuff. In fact, apparently they made a couple of steps backwards. They spent a lot of effort getting this running on consoles, which is why the other thing that drives me crazy is when you click on someone and you've got to go, why is the menu over here? Why is the pop-up menu not right next to the where you click? This should be at your mouse and then move over. So now I've got to go way over here. And it's strange. Like, a lot of times I click, I'm like, did anything happen? Oh, yeah, it's the pop-up is way over here. Makes no sense whatsoever. And that's that's a change. That didn't used to be like that. They didn't used to have that pop-up. And, you know, probably having... Well, the, the, they had the pop-up, but just different. I think, did you used to right-click on it? There was something. And I'm sure it used to pop up on top of where your mouse happened to be at the time, rather than over there in the bottom right corner. So there's just a lot of weirdness happening. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I think it's too early for them. That this is the last version of the game. I mean, they might come out with some bug fixes, for example. And of course, we're still in the. Oh, I think we finished with our um, with our federal witnesses. Like, why are there no prisoners here? Because this room here, no, deployment, was set up for protected only, and we don't have any of them. So I'm going to switch this to medium only. We're, gonna, we're still not going to have a protected area. Um, people who are under, you know, threat of being killed, well, they shouldn't have been snitches or, you know, police officers that got arrested. They're just going to die. That's the way it's going to be. This is going to be turned to max sec only. We're going to see what that does for our capacities. Yeah, we're good. Dormitory adds a lot. So our next intake is going to be quite big. So this is going to go back to being medium security. They will eat here. We still have a wicked excess of boxes for some reason. Like, why are they lying all over the place? I don't understand why it's such a mess. Anyway. All right, that's there. Um, like, for all that I complain about the... Sometimes how RimWorld just wants you to die... And that some of the events are kind of unfun. Like, I think the toxic fallout can somehow risk being a little bit unfun. And the solar flares killing all your electricity it kind of leads to unfun. Well, we don't have enough electricity for really as much as I would like here. Um, but the user interface is pretty damn good. And especially the mod ability. Whereas this is like, I don't know, it's a much lesser game overall. I should have waited for this cable because, actually, I'll still cancel it. Although... All right, it didn't cancel everything. Thank you. And cancel that run. Um, because I'm going to want to align this with my cookers and whatnot, so we can wait. Uh, all right. So it seems a little early for people to actually be eating here. But a kitchen will be serving food over here, in theory. I don't know. This might not be a very good meal. At all. Some people. How many people are waiting for solitary? Serious complaints. Four prisoners are shackled in cells in solitary. That's not too much. No gang members right now. And we'll probably need to do a... Yeah, we're going to need to do a shakedown tonight. What is this? Oh, a bunch of vomit all over? Or just dirt? Is that what it looks like in the dark? 
It's entirely possible. Uh, this can be locked open. Yeah. Actually, it's not even meant to be a door. I think I want to demolish this whole wall. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to do that, and then we're going to go to material, um, demolish wall here and there. Just make a nice wide hallway. That way, a little bit less choke pointy and a little bit less likely to start some stupid fights. Uh, what now? Disaster at nearby prison has rendered a whole section of the facility unstable. We have no choice but to transfer the prisoners there to your prison. There's no other suitable facility nearby. They will be arriving soon. How many? Incoming prisoner. But how many? 48 minutes. Okay, well, they're going to come in before the prisoner intake. So the prisoner intake number will reset itself based on the incoming prisoners. But why doesn't it tell me how many there are? It's like the radio event all over again. It's just going to drive me bonkers. <laughs> um, power station. I'm actually surprised. I guess because people are busy building my power cables here. Okay, so people have come in. It doesn't look like very many, actually. No, no those are sacks. One minute. There's the prison bus. Two, three, four, uh-oh, five... Uh Is it already considering them? I'm going to uh I'm going to close the prison intake just to make sure it works out okay. I mean, so far we still look good. And yeah, we're still planning that shakedown. All right, no, we're, we're fine. I'm going to set my intake back to fill to capacity here. We're okay right now. We are at maximum security. No, we have 162 with a max of 152 for max security. So there's some of these people, I'm assuming we'll get that pop-up soon that says no room. Yeah, it's just not processing the number quite right. Or it's not counting them as part of my total prisoners. Is that possible? No, it's there. Okay, no, the, the number went up. Maybe it, while the, before these people have been processed, maybe they don't count yet. That seems kind of reasonable. A bit of gang fighting there. Now we're going to be fine. All right, meanwhile, this, good. Excellent. Power in place. Good. A bit rioting. Just, just a soup so of rioting. It's fine. Do this. Do that. Stick a staff door in there. And then kind of forget about it. And then develop a new kitchen here. So, I want... I'm actually going to start by classing it as a kitchen. Because then it'll highlight things for me, which is very nice. Object... I mean, I do like that. This menu, the fact that things change all the time, make it impossible to ever find the metal detector, is really annoying. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it works okay, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we don't actually need a closed door between the kitchen and the cantina. That's been pretty sure. So speaking of the metal detector, which is here, we're going to stick you in there. And then we're going to get a set of fridges in the back. All right. A little gap, that's okay. And then a series of cookers. Actually, I'll try to plan this gap to be in the middle. Like that. And probably another set of those. That's going to be alright. And then a series of sinks. Like so. Get those in there. Um, I don't think we'll need CCTV because I'm planning on keeping some guards deployed in a canteen. We might need one in the kitchen. All right, these guys keep being cranky. Come on, settle down. Some of you are probably starving. Yeah. We had one person actually die from starvation. So now that we've got that, the other thing I can do is that should be staff only. Make sure no one gets contraband. Not that the prisoners actually have a way to get there. So, and I'll have to keep reallocating that every time I change things. There we go. That's what I was expecting. There's some prisoners who can't be assigned to a cell. I can make this dormitory shared, though. And I might do that for now. It's a very dangerous. Hmm. 
you should be able to be assigned here. There we go. Okay, just take, took a little while to process. I'm obviously not going to want to keep it that way, but for now, that's going to be fine. We don't have a ton of money. We probably have enough to develop another block, though. All right, this is starting to develop. Excellent. So... Something like that, and then we'll need some water pipe soon for the sinks as well. And I guess we know where that will go. That will go through the three middle bits over here. And where do we actually want to run the water pipe? Well, now they can't dig along this anymore, so we can afford to run a big water pipe that way. All right, that'll do. Oh, we'll need some lights in the kitchen as well. We'll have to take a look at our park to make sure that that got dealt with. Park or yard. I know, it's not very even lighting. Deal with it. So, uh, intelligence, gangs, yard. What does that mean? Someone wants to contest it? Oh, what the hell? People keep grabbing this shit all the time. Like, is there a way for me to fight this? Feels like this exclamation mark should be there on the main map. It should let you know on the main map, not in the gang mode, that someone's got this thing covered. We've got plenty of guards here. Hopefully that'll present this from being taken. So now, in theory, I can go and finally build some lights over here. There we go. How come I can't see the lights very well? There it is. You'd think with the guard post, it would have stopped the gangs from taking over. But, I mean, I guess there's a difference between shooting them. Okay, so there's still some intake here. People are still being processed. There's a probably still people from the new prison, or people who couldn't get a room before. But now they can. Or maybe we took a little intake. No, I don't think we did. Oh, a bit of a skirmish there. Again, I'm thinking potentially a bigger infirmary. I don't know. We're not doing too badly. Uh, can I go and assign a bunch of jobs here? And we don't really have that many people qualified for it, but it might happen. And yeah, we're still going to have a bit of capacity problems. So I really do want to build up another one of these soon. How much does this cost? 80 grand. Would be easier, I think, if we expanded in one way or another. Actually, I don't think this utility room is where I want it. I think I want this hallway to continue this way. As future proof there. I don't know. We might just build in this direction, in which case it's fine. Let's not worry about it for now, then. Early prisoner release reward. A couple of them. Good. No uh, reoffending there, which is nice, because otherwise you don't get your money. People watching TV here. People working out there. So hopefully more people are going to get their, their exercise satisfaction now that they don't have to pay a gang for control or for use of the uh, the yard. I think this means someone's trying to make a play for it, but did I not click the evict button? Or is this cycling between two people? Maybe, okay. Maybe what we need to make sure to do is keep a guard there, which, okay, this room is not quite right because um, I do love the idea of putting the metal detector right in the doorway like that, but it, it means that these deployments leak. We were seeing the same thing with our... Um, our job allocation. That's really frustrating. I would like it if there was a way to flag one of these little entryways as a break in our setup. Also, these tiles they just look ugly. We'll have to replace that. I still want to do my shakedown. I don't want to do it while people are eating, but I don't know. So we're going to put a regular door there. And then the metal detector, which of course has moved. Oh, I can't do that because someone's actually got control over this room. We are working to evict them, except we don't currently have a presence there. Too dangerous. Oh, because there's some fighting along the way. It'll be fine, though. More fighting, more fighting. What are people complaining about? 
Wow, there's a lot of shit being broken down here. We might have to deal with that. Food meals. I mean, there's not that many um, serious complaints. A lot of people don't like the lack of privacy. Those are all the medium security people. I don't know. I think we're still fine. Really do want to get ready for the, like, super explosive mega growth up to 500 people, which is where we're going to call the end game of this. Um, also, right, these things can be locked open. I had them locked shut because when I wasn't sort of figuring out what was going on with some of the stuff over here. But I want them all to be locked open so that we don't have to spend as much guard time opening and closing those doors. All right, so now that the door's there, I can actually deploy someone to stay in this common room. Because apparently that's one of the places that can be claimed and contested. So, theoretically, we're working on an eviction here. Yeah, it's happening. I'm just hoping Ward doesn't snap. I think now that we have a guard here, it's going to maybe progress. Because we actually have one. It might be worth, at least for now, explicitly deploying a second guard here, too. Yeah, maybe. That get fixed up? Yep, that's all good. A little bit of blood on the ground still. That's okay. Big kitchen over there. I'm going to get some more cooks. I mean, we have a good number of cooks. But let's make sure we've got tons and tons and tons. Getting food to the kitchen here might be a little bit slow. I wonder, does the food get delivered to storage or is it always at the front? I think it's always at the front. It's actually going to be a big job for our cooks to get it there. We'll probably want an alternate route for them to reach. Maybe what we'll do is we'll end up tearing something apart over here. Actually, I'm thinking of shrinking this kitchen. Because it doesn't have a very big canteen to serve. Make a little hallway here, even if it might be only staff, just staff only hallway to get the back there. That might not be a terrible idea. All right, right now our room capacity is fine. Is the common room ours? Not yet. I'm working on it. Whoa! Big fight here because we are looking to eject people. There you go. Sniper is shooting at people. Excellent. Free fire! <laughs> it, oh, look at the deaths! <laughs> Let's say if we're going to have deaths in a day, just go crazy. Lots and lots of deaths. It's fine. Then we get to do a new intake, and then we get more money. And hopefully what we're doing is, is killing the gang members more than anyone else. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that that's true. But in my head, that's what's happening. So they have been evicted, which is great. They haven't been evicted here. I'm going to leave Free Fire on. Well, I think it can be turned off now. But next time there's a big fight like that, we'll definitely go back and turn it on. We need more morgue space. All right, what about over here? And there's no indicator. Again, unless you're in the, 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 this mode, where I'm not going to see when it goes away. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to be a, a fight. Get some more dogs in here. Alright, so far so good. And not quite evicted. Almost done though. Then I can get my metal detector back. This is all to get the metal detector back over here. Also, we're wait for that fight to happen, and then we're gonna start our shakedown. Because no one's eating right now. There we go. Shakedown underway, and we're going to place a metal detector right there, and I think that will require me to tweak my cable. No, the cable's still going to be good. Excellent. All right. Uh, I don't know if we've lost any guards. We probably have. I'm going to get you back up to 10. Actually, we've even lost an armed guard. There we go. Get that capped out. Money's good, though. Money's very good. Holy crap! I'm actually surprised that was not an actual... Successful escape. Oh, right, because this is all fenced in, too. So they spent a ton of time digging this tunnel just to get into another fenced-in area. And eventually the dogs would have noticed, too. There we go. We'll take care of that. That's going to be fine. So this is not a prison cell right now, which is why our capacity just dropped. But as soon as the tunnel gets removed from here, this will be a valid cell again, at which point um, our capacity will go back up. So that's good. Shakedown should happen relatively quickly. We do have a good number of guards. Yeah, overall, not too bad. All right, let's take a look at our logistics screen over here. Food distribution. Supply will meet demand. 
over here it should be well there's no there's no demand right now and over here supply is a little bit low I think we have too many fridges here not enough cookers because all the cookers are in use Yeah, I think that's true. I think we've got lots of cooks here. Also, um, what I should do is take a look at where the demand is, although things have probably auto-adjusted. Yeah, these two will go there, which is great. These two will go there, as well as the medium sec dormitories. Actually, you're eating there, which is odd. Hang on. I mean, I think it's trying to wait things. You know what? You can go there. That should be okay. So two relatively large medium sec dormitories go there, and then at a separate time, two relatively large max sec cells, cell blocks go here. That's good. And then these two go there, which should be fine. And yeah, we'll replace that with cookers. And then, well, we'll have to put a cut in here, but I want to let the cooker thing finish. Otherwise, it'll probably get missed. There we go. And cooker. I should really look up an idealized ratio for this stuff because I don't think there's quite enough. Both in terms of how many prisoners we're trying to deal with. And um, there we go. We've got lots of scans there. And that's there. I guess I can do the rest of the kitchen. I should just... Oops. Light. I should just go ahead and like drop the lights first. That's probably fine. And then consider if I want to do any more. Which I think I may as well. Something like that. And then electricity. There and there. Just to make sure. These are two pretty big blocks, and I think we're going to be putting in a third block relatively soon. Although, I guess I'll have to design it sideways, which is a bit annoying. Actually, I might just put it right here. There should be plenty of room for a block that's exactly like that, right over here, and that'll also work that canteen. Although, that will be three um, max security blocks that will be eating at the same time, which is a little bit less good. Um, I was talking about not making any more medium security dormitories, but... It actually would make a lot of sense to put a medium sec dormitory right over here to use this canteen because they eat at different times and so it spreads the load out a lot better. That probably makes the most sense. Prison's not at capacity. Yeah, it must not be counting something the way we expect. Maybe because of the shared capacity here, I don't know. Actually, we have more... Well, no, with the shared capacity. I don't know. That's kind of odd. Hmm. That is very odd. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm actually thinking that's what's going to happen. A uh, medium security dormitory there. And I do want more max sec, though, as well. Maybe what I'll do is I'll plan on getting a couple of max sec blocks over here and then another big kitchen canteen over here, independent of these. Or... Now, here's an idea. Why don't I just get rid of all this and make basically a big kitchen canteen right here, something of that nature, and then um, I want to be, there we go, off of the cop selection mode, and then the blocks here, max sec, max sec, medium sec, something like that. That's probably pretty strong. Anyway, we'll have to wait until next time. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.